Making ends meet as a full-time independent musician is not an easy way to go through life. But that's the path that Daniel Christian has chosen, and so far, so good. Lance joins us now with Daniel's story of taking the road less traveled. Lance. Hey guys, I am so looking forward to introducing you to this guy that I really think sounds a lot like one of my favorites, James Taylor. Ooh. You'll enjoy hearing him sing. Daniel Christian was born and raised in Tecumseh, Nebraska, and everywhere he looked when he was a kid, there was music. His mom had an incredible record collection, and his dad made a living as a member of a rock and roll band. And to young Daniel, that looked like the coolest job in the world. So I grew up around drums and, and guitars and stuff. And they used to practice in our house, so uh, when they weren't practicing, I would bang around on his drum set, and I started to play drums. That was the first thing for me. Daniel moved on to the piano, and then picked up the guitar when he went to college. And that's when he found his voice. On the day I walked away, you were begging me to stay. Daniel always wanted to be like his dad and play music for a living but he thought a career in education would be the safer bet. I really liked teaching a lot. I taught for four or five years in a town called Pawnee City. I taught high school English and decided to step away for a little while and just see what it was like to make a living as a musician and a songwriter. And now I've been doing it almost nine years. She left town years ago But she called me up today always looked up to my brother. I mean, from the time I was little. Amanda Kettlehake is Daniel's baby sister, and she is most assuredly one of his biggest fans. You know, he's my big brother and I love him. Amanda respects her brother now more than ever for never giving up his dream of becoming an independent musician. He's done it and he's doing it and he's succeeding. And I think that that's really great of him. And I love to see him succeed like that. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a modest living, but it's a little better every year thanks to the nice people who come out and listen to a guy sing songs he wrote. I still think about it every time I drive the strip. Downtown, bruising the bricks. This newly married 1998 Tecumseh High School graduate now lives in Wahoo and plays concerts all over the United States. And when he's around Lincoln, he sings in three different churches and is also a member of the String Beans Band for Kids. All the loners and all the clicks Cruise up and down 136 Wherever she lives, she's not there She's patrolling the courthouse square With all the others bruising the bridge <laughs> a few years ago when Daniel's alma mater Tecumseh consolidated with Cook Nemaha Valley to become Johnson County Central, Daniel was honored to help compose the new school song with his old classmate Nathan Morrissey. And if you'd like to see more of Daniel in person or you'd like to get a hold of some of that awesome music, go to danielchristianmusic.com and it's there that you can see more about him signing a brand new record Ooh. deal. Congratulations. That, those songs are pretty catchy. You were tapping along here during oh my the story. Gosh. I'm going to be singing them all night, Bridget. <laughs> now, I understand we're going to, this is the last Lance's Journal we're going to see for a little while. It's going on hiatus. It is. I'm going to start working on Our Town Beatrice. I'm looking forward to going down there once again. And I wanted to remind everybody but that Wednesday night we can see the very first edition of the new Golden Apple Award. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Lance. Mm -hmm. Let's take a live look outside right now where 